Hi, I'm Katie Harnett. My blog is tbell.blogspot.com and my um, website is katieharnett.com and I'm an illustrator and at the moment I live in Bristol. And you call yourself T-Bell as well. Why, why is it that you chose to call yourself that? Um, it's because I love tea and I had a poodle called Belle and she loved tea too and used to sort of steal my tea and drink it. Why did you choose to do Tara Starlet? Well, I looked at a few websites and I really liked theirs and I really liked how sort of they had an obvious sort of 50s pin-up influence and also the clothes seemed really sort of fun and I thought I could illustrate them in sort of quite bold ways. I drew it out sort of in pencil, mapped everything out and then painted sort of a load of sort of random watercolour wash sort of in the general shape of how I wanted it and scanned all of that in and then sort of put it into Photoshop and put the watercolour as a layer and coloured it in Photoshop and so did sort of a bit of digital and a bit of traditional. You know, you're sort of quite into sort of doing detailed stuff. Um, why do you think that is and where do you get the inspiration from? I do tend to work in overly time-consuming ways just to sort of experiment and see what comes out best. It's just what I like sort of what I like in clothes and in sort of other people's work as well. I'm really a big fan of people who use a lot of pattern and sort of intricate detail. I really like Meg Hunt and she does a lot of that. You also do quite a lot of children's illustration, is that right? And and, and do you think there's a lot of crossover between fashion yeah. and children? And, and if so, what do you think that is? I enjoy all kinds of illustration, but I think um, partly in children's books, when I was little, I always used to like sort of looking at the characters and I think the clothes in books are quite important sort of how characters are and what they'd wear and like what they'd be like in their everyday life but obviously they're from like high fashion to children's books there is quite a wide gap um <laughs> but I do I quite like the variety as well I do like doing sort of lots of different projects you said that you'd um set yourself a, a target to appear in a media's magazine when it was still in print um and I just wondered why why you'd set yourself that target and you know how being online has uh, um, been the same or different? Well, I set the target because um, someone sort of introduced me to the magazine when I was doing my art foundation. I really liked it and sort of just wanted to appear in something like that, sort of as a goal of to appear in like a magazine that I really like. And then when I found out there weren't going to be any more, I was really I sort of annoyed with myself for not having got on it a bit sooner. Um, so finding out that about the website and being able to do work for that was really good. It was sort of made me feel a bit happier and it's been really helpful sort of in terms of getting people to look at my work but also being so I can sort of experiment with things more than the clients might let me really which has been great <laughs> and sort of get fairly quick feedback from people because they go up fairly swiftly so you sort of find out more what works and what isn't working so well it's been really helpful Are you still studying? Still studying in my third year at um, University of the West of England in Bristol UB yeah? Yes <laughs> at college do you think it's important to sort of make sure you have a good online presence and sort of has it become a very important part of what you do sort of being online you get to talk to people who well you never meet anyway but especially sort of being in college I want to work as much as I can now so that when I do leave I sort of already have somewhere to start from rather than just sort of graduating and having nothing to do and sort of no one that I know and so I think it's really helpful and also in terms of just keeping busy doing stuff so I really want to do as much as I can all the time and there's no reason not to start when you're still at uni, I don't think. What's your um, aim after you leave college? What, what are your plans? Hopefully, if I can afford it, which I'm not sure about, I'll move to London um, and then sort of just find as many projects and things I can do. I'd love to carry on doing sort of the fashion stuff and the children's book stuff, maybe do some editorials, but really sort of I want to find out how many things there are and try and do all of them. <laughs>